Bad video games. There are so many bad video games out there. Sometimes they're just broken and unplayable and glitchy and a mess. Other times they're just boring and uninspired. Sometimes they're so bad that you're actually having a good time reveling in just how terrible this thing actually is. Now we all have at least one of these games in our collection. That objectively terrible game that you would never recommend to anyone. Yet somehow you were thoroughly entertained by it for reasons you don't even fully understand. Don't lie to yourself. Don't be that person that's all like, nah man, I only play good games. Nah, 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 nah. We know that you have at least one lollipop chainsaw or deadly premonition tucked in there. Nah, huh, I know better. That one bad movie that you watch when you've had one too many to drink and you don't want to think too much. Or an Imagine Dragon song. Something terrible that you just can't help but love anyway. Foreclosed is just one of those games. This game isn't broken bad. It isn't one of those kind of games. There aren't any significant bugs or glitches. The game won't freeze up or crash on you. The graphics are competent enough. The controls work. It's a complete game. It's not that kind of bad, which is so much fun to play sometimes. No, no, no. This is, this is something else. And from the moment I pressed the start button, I knew I was in for something special. The instant I was greeted by that emotionless, ultra-tough gravel voice protagonist describing his dystopian world. Motionless puppets crossed by the flow of time. We are choiceless rotters, consumed by the crawling of events. The irony of fate, I had just ceased to exist, and the most important choice of my life was one click away from me. I mean, right here, I should have just put the controller down, walked away, picked a different game. But that grin on my face, I, I can't deny that grin on my face. Every time that happens, I know that this is going to be glorious. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this dork right here. This is who you're going to play as for the entirety of the game. Kids, this is who you want to be when you grow up. Look at that walk cycle. Look at that hoodie. Oh, look at that face. This is the ultimate tough guy protagonist. And, and I was hooked. I mean, I'm always a sucker for a good cyberpunk dystopia type of game. I love me a good sci-fi movie. Sometimes a bad sci-fi movie. But this... This was something else altogether. That voice acting. This is the kind of voice acting from back in those days where developers couldn't afford actual voice actors and just went into the studio and did it themselves. And it was so bad that just on its merits alone, this was worthy of playing. One of the characters can't even pronounce the name of the company she works for properly. Circuitech, a circuitech, the circuitech laboratories. My name is Dahlia Kari. I am the founder of Circuitech. Every single character in this game is so poorly acted that it makes every single line of this terribly written dialogue so much fun to hear. But the story itself and its setting was something I was actually interested in. This dystopian future world where corporations own your very identity and you have to pay back this debt was a very interesting premise and it was told through this really cool comic book style with different little panels sliding in and out. But ultimately, it got nowhere and by the end of it, all you get is government is the bad guy. So, there's that. 
Not even the story was worth anything. The game itself was too short to actually flesh it out. Which, in this case, is a good thing, because if this game were any longer, I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much as I did. Because it's not as if the gameplay was the strong point. Not by a long shot. The primary loop is a combination of the poorest of poor man's Metal Gear Solid style stealth sequences and a shooting gallery. Something that felt like a literal amusement park shooting gallery, like you're holding a BB gun in your hand and hitting static targets. There was something satisfying about dangling an enemy in midair and just taking pot shots at him as he's just helpless or slamming somebody across the face with a trash canister but nothing worth writing home about and the whole thing controls so poorly your character moves around like his footsteps have no impact the reticle is so sensitive that I actually had to turn down the sensitivity in order to aim properly. And the stealth sequences themselves were either single segment avoidance of patrolling guards or larger areas where you come up from behind and fry the enemy's implants. That's it. Nothing worth writing about. Nothing worth even talking about, and I don't even know why I'm wasting my time with this game. Except for the fact that I really had a good time playing this. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense to me. This game is garbage. Absolute trash. And mediocre in every sense of the word. I would not have been surprised had I heard that this game was originally released in 2003. Nowadays... This is just bad. But I had a good time with it, so I don't know what to do with that. I did play it technically for free. It's available on the PS Plus thing. So it was just there, and it caught my eye, so I played it. And now that I've played it, it is one of those games that will forever be in the back of my mind as something I wouldn't mind wasting a couple of hours on just for cheap laughs. Now, had I spent money on this, I would have been pissed. I would have been better off setting that money on fire and lighting a firecracker with it and shoving it up my ass. That would have been a better time than this. But since I didn't spend any money on it, it was definitely worth it. It just reminds me of this one time years ago that I go into my brother's room and he's watching Jersey Shore. And I look at him and judge him and wonder, why are you watching this? And he just looks up at me and goes, are you not entertained? And that moment changed everything for me. Sometimes bad is good just because of how entertaining it can be.